dear friends and colleagues, I'm Herr Rallenbos from the University of Mainz Medical Center in Germany. And the reason I'm reaching out today is to inform you on uh, our uh, latest findings in our clinical research. We have uh, tested whether the entropy, or specifically sam sampling entropy, of the raw signals of the polysomnography on two consecutive nights regarding the signals of the snoring sounds, the abdominal and thoracic effort and very low frequency ECG and cardiogram could predict um, the existence of obstructive sleep apnea or not. And even if using uh, the uh, sampling entropy of these signals could be used to differentiate between uh, mild, moderate or severe obstructive sleep apnea. Again, uh, most um, importantly, the snoring sounds could uh, differentiate between the existence or not of sleep apnea in our patients. So you can have uh, much more information on this topic if you follow the latest issue of the journal Sleep Medicine. So in another research, we tested whether heart rate variability could differentiate between people with obstructive sleep apnea without comorbidities and people with uh, obstructive sleep apnea and concomitant severe chronic coronary syndrome, meaning people who already had a myocardial infarct or had already stents in their coronary arteries. So we found such a differentiation using these two proxies, namely the triangular index or the SDNN heart rate variability index uh, is indeed possible. If you are more interested on this issue, you could follow our open access paper in the journal Diagnostics. We will be very happy to have your feedback and maybe questions at the address that you see on your screen. Have a great day.